What's going on everybody? Chase with IDub Hockey here today with Matt who's the product manager of Sticks for CCM Hockey here in Montreal with your totally redesigned Tax AS5 Pro line. I can't wait to start talking about the exciting new technology or geometry in this case. But let's talk about the style of player, style of flex profile that it comes with and how that's maybe evolved from the previous generation. Yeah, absolutely. So if we start with that kick point and that player type, really what we're trying to do with tax in 2022 is to completely get away from slap shot, if I can say. So the idea is that we're seeing there's less and less time on the ice for you know the big clappers and those types of shots. So we really wanted to position this stick, position tax as more of a wrist shot stick. So really designed for players that likes to lean into his sticks, likes to put a lot of weight in it and really get after that maximum velocity out of that shooting. But again, more adapted to wrist shot than it was previously on slap shots. And if you had to name drop one player that really exemplifies the new Tax AS5 Pro style, who would that be? Uh, we could talk about the guy like Seth Jones, so someone you know who's like to lean into his shots a lot. Obviously we have Bergeron at Hallways, has been a tax player for us and really likes how to stick behave. So those two guys could be a really good example, I guess. Absolutely. But let's talk about this AS5 Pro. The first time I saw it, it took me a couple minutes to figure out exactly what was going on with the taper here. So I'm sure everyone's gonna wanna know what's yeah, going on. Absolutely. So what we did with the AS5 Pro is again, redesign the geometry of that stick. So what we did is, you know, altering the bottom section of it in what we call the variable V-shaped shaft. So a little bit like we have different geometries on our other models, now we have something specific for tax. And what it does, or at least how it looks, is it starts off as a T-shape, so really similar to what we had in the past, but it transitioned up to that mixed section here, which is a little bit shaped like a V. So you have a thicker top line and then a narrower bottom line, and there's multiple benefits to altering the shape like that. So, you know, first one for us, again, speaking about power, was how to get that maximum velocity out of the shots because of that geometry. So shaping it that way really allows us to have more of a backward and forward flex into the stick more than downward. And that was really important because we were seeing a lot of players um, with our tactics in the past losing power to the ground because it was too soft towards the ground. So changing that geometry now makes it stiffer towards the ground and allow us to bend backward, forward, to get all of that power, that force towards the net, again, instead of on the ice. Um, the second thing that it does is that it creates somehow, a, 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 let's call it a natural mid kick point onto the stick. So by altering the geometry there, it forces the stick to bend exactly where we want it to be. It's still a mid kick, so it's bending higher on the shaft, but it creates that consistency in the loading and in the release of the stick. So again, you're getting very, very accurate, very, very consistent shooting because of that, which allows you to place your hands a little bit, you know, at different spots and again, get that similar shooting behaviors out of it. Right, so just kind of a, an update, a modernization of that mid-kick profile. Like you mentioned, more designed for that wrist shot shooter, whether it's off of your inside foot or your outside foot, but just keeping up with today's game that is just so much faster than it used exactly, to be. Exactly, exactly. So what about as far as the overall construction goes? Because I know obviously everyone's gonna talk about this first, right? But there's a lot of cool new things going on underneath the hood in this AS5 Pro. So walk me through what's so exciting just inside of the stick, outside of the V-shape. Yeah, so a little bit like we are doing on our other Pro models, on the FT5 Pro and the Trigger 7 Pro, we've upgraded this construction to our new carbon, which is called Sigma STP. This is again coming from the same company we're partnering with, Sigma Tex, but it really is the new level of that carbon fiber. So it helps us you know, increase durability of the stick, improve the balance point while making it you know, lighter than in the past. So it's really all combining to make this a better stick, which as you were saying, works very well with that new V geometry there. Right, because the carbon fiber is kind of like the freeway that drives energy into the puck and having a more efficient way of transferring that energy is only gonna make an already improved taper activate a little bit Absolutely, better too. Absolutely, you're right there. Now, speaking of just this high performance fiber though, yeah. What's the weight this year? Uh, we're looking at 390 grams for the S5 Pro. Again, reduction over the S4 Pro of last year, but essentially a much better balance point that we were having better uh, that we were having before. So this is actually our best balance tax sticks that we've ever made. 
which you'll definitely pick up as soon as you, you know, get the sticks in your hands, start playing with it. It's noticeably better balanced than in the past. Definitely, and let's talk about blade feel too, because especially when you compare the AS5 Pro to the jet speed and the trigger, everything has a little bit unique and very purposeful blade feel and construction. So walk me through what the Tax has and why that and how that benefits the Tax player. Yeah, absolutely. So starting last year, we had the AQ Feel Blade, which is a soft blade on the AS4 Pro. This is really the evolution of that blade. So we're talking about AQ Feel 2 here that has been improved with Sigma STP. So you get you know a lighter blade, a better puck feel. But essentially going again with a soft blade here was that because we got really good feedback on how players were able to load the blade in their shooting, which provided them with additional velocity in their shot. So we wanted to keep that because it fits well with the overall direction that we're going with here. And again, maximizing that wrist shot power. Definitely, you can tell it's a change in direction this year, especially with the visual update yeah. going more with the victory gold. But I also want to say too, because looks do matter and we have seen a, a really great response at Ice Warehouse is the name bar. So can you walk me through quickly, does this come with the name bar and what other price points might have it? Yeah, absolutely. So the name bar printer really allows you to customize your stick in a sense of hiding your number, your player's name on it, and really having something that's unique to yourself. It's also available on the AS5, which we'll talk a little bit in, in two seconds, but really focusing on those two price points. The addition now is on the team stick. Um, which is, you know, the third one in the lineup, which we've added as a new feature for 2022. You brought it up about the AS5. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Like we mentioned before, every time you come out with a new improvement on that top of the line price point, that second price point benefits heavily from it as well. And that's actually not the best word because it is incredibly lightweight, you know? So yeah. walk me through why I'm so excited about this AS5 No, this no, year. you're right. I mean, upgrading the first one to Sigma STP kind of opened up a door for us to integrate Sigma Tex in a full construction at a second price point here. So you're, gonna, you're getting a Sigma Tex blade and a Sigma Tex shaft, which ultimately leads to better balance, weight reduction, and more durability on your stick. It also allows us to match the kick point better uh, versus the Pro model. So you're getting something that's gonna feel very similar um, to that new shooting experience, if I can say from the 5 Pro, now in the AS5. And then as far as weight goes too, it's, it's always about you know, trying to reduce weight without sacrificing durabilities. And now using the Sigma Tex carbon fiber, what do we find in a senior version? So here we, using Sigma Tex allowed us to reduce the weight by about five gram, but again, it's the balance point that has benefited a lot from it. So for us, it's, it's all a question of balance and making sure that stick feels well in your hands, feels well when you're playing on the ice. So really, you know, we, we, we took that direction of going more after balance than weight which explained the, the, you know, the five grams reduction, but essentially a much better feeling sticks that we had with the AS4. Yeah, so it feels more than five grams it lighter. It does feel more than five grams, yeah. Definitely, well, let's hop into this third price point, the team stick. Sure. So on the team stick here, um, what we have is a full C6 construction. So that's both the shaft and the blade here again. You get a stick that weighed about 445 grams. Um, we have an ultra attack frame blade that has been very, very popular in the past. So we wanted to keep this in the stick. So this is essentially, you know, a, a mid performance stick, if we can say, and something that's going to benefit players that are looking for great performance without necessarily breaking the bank or going after the, the big models there. Definitely, you're getting a lot of those elite level features and more of those philosophies for that modern power shooter at a more competitive budget friendly price, yeah, right? Absolutely. You're getting the same kind of mid kick flex profile, the same kind of experience, if I can say, just at a more you know, competitive uh, level, if we can say. And it almost looks like a pro model too, especially when you go ahead and use that name bar as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You can get it custom to yourself now. So let's talk about maybe for that new to competitive hockey or that maybe casual player that's just looking for you know, a ton of power, but without a ton of money to be spent. Yeah, so the AS570E is kind of a completely new construction for us in 2022. So we wanted to position this stick in between what we have in the rib core as the 86K and the 84K. So it really sits in between in terms of weight. This is gonna weigh 480 grams. And again, big, big attention has been given to balance and making sure that we have something that feels good in the hands when you're playing with it. You're still getting, as you were saying, that kind of, uh, you know, loading and modern mid-kick experience out of it, uh, but just at a more budget-friendly option, if I can say. 
And I mean, it's one thing for it to look great, but when, like you mentioned, with that upgraded balance point, it feels great. Feels really great. Ton of durability and also a ton of power for that power shooter. Correct. Well, Matt, thank you so much for having us out here today and walking us through the new Tax AS5 Pro line. It's my pleasure. And for you at home, and want to check out this entire collection, make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com. <laughs>